The journey is the destination. The brand new Ecru Passport shirt from Valley Pursuit, an amazing drop. Like the shirt says, the journey is the destination. And today you guys are on a journey with me. Mini tattoo vlog, new ink, all about growth. Let's go. Before we head out, let's discuss this shirt, okay? And the shoes for the day. Would you yourself pick the Air Max 1 Concepts Heavy or the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the MXO colorway? Both complement the shirt so well. Trust me, I was torn, but I would love to get your thoughts below. So be sure to comment which pair you would take, the Air Max 1 or the Yeezy Boost. Neither is a wrong answer, at least in my book. So go ahead and comment below. I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see yeah. These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and stay Alright everybody, it's your girl TJ Back another video on Talks with TJ And before we dive in, listen As a Warriors fan, totally outraged Disgusted at what occurred to Gary Payton II Last night in Game 2 Listen, I'm all for letting the men play But this was a malicious action It had nothing to do with a play on the ball I honestly can't believe that's the decision he made In the moment um, To do that again To a, a, a peer, a fellow player that's, that's within the NBA Like why? like whatsoever like why <laughs> why would you take this route i just I, I don't understand it um to have gary go out that's definitely going to affect us but more importantly the fact that he's going to have to now come back from this fractured elbow and this was just beyond unnecessary so uh quite personally me go ahead and give dylan the exact same uh, amount of games that gary payton the second could quite possibly miss so he's out the rest of the playoffs oh well go ahead and deal with those consequences that's that's how i personally feel so you guys are coming along on this journey with me um now if you did not catch the last video i did kind of a, a mini vlog vlog for this piece here um the wolf so let's go ahead you know just give you guys uh kind of a look at that and some of the symbolism behind it if you didn't catch the vlog for the wolf tattoo I had done, I'll be sure to link it in the description box, but a wolf is a great symbol for intelligence, awareness, lack of trust, I, I own that, being strategic, independent, and willing to do the the work that, that most are not alone uh, in that time where you can have a lot of doubt, a lot of fear, you overcome insecurities, and you absolutely make it happen, and you understand that a lot of life will fall on your own shoulders, and you know what? You don't shy away from that. So the wolf was completed last year and it is an amazing piece. It's funny because I posed the question on Instagram in my stories and I'm like, hey, what do you think I'm getting done? And there were actually two decent guesses. I wasn't mad about two of the guesses whatsoever. They said, oh, are you getting like a, a Mamba or a, a Kobe tattoo? And I'm like, you know what? That's probably not. That's not a bad guess for somebody to make. I am not, though. Uh, the second, uh, they were curious if I would have more of a beach scene that continues um, along uh, my forearm here because I have the palm tree and that that was a really good guess just if you're, you're you're basing it on the space that's available here um i'm unsure still of what will go here that's kind of it's still left open there will be something more than likely filled in there um but it is left open right now so good guesses that's not what's being done today so matter of fact let's go ahead and head to the shop so for the pair selected, the Air Max 1 Heavy, but then also got to have snacks on deck. I went old school with the lemon heads for my tattoo appointment today. I love having something to snack on while in the chair because I'm usually there for at least three to four hours. And I'm curious if you were able to guess, maybe based on the thumbnail, did you assume that it was the right leg? Because that's what you saw in the picture itself because nope, you would be wrong. A lot of you were probably not expecting that, right? So I had to have a little fun. I said probably not expecting that because based on the thumbnail, you may or may not have tried to figure out which 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 leg is this going on? All right, listen, that's that's pretty fair, okay? Uh, but there is a part two. It's properly titled part one. There is a part two on the way. I have to go back to my artist 
just to get more detail and other things finished up so you guys will see a more in-depth very you know <laughs> up close look at everything not to say that i'm sure you won't catch glimpses in future videos leading up until the end of may but i gotta keep it fun gotta build a little suspense in there for you so uh yeah part one session one done today part two will occur probably i believe i'm scheduled for may 25th so very shortly after that that same week you guys will get a follow-up of part two to see the fully finished piece all right, so let's talk about growth for a second because I can promise you it's definitely not just in one facet of life. Uh, again, the a growth tattoo was something I actually wanted to get last year, but just based on uh, personal things and lessons learned in 2021, the wolf for a lot of its symbolism just seemed a little bit uh, more of a priority at that time. And looking ahead to a lot of the growth that's occurring uh, personally, whether it be financially and just in other areas of, of life, uh, it just seemed like an amazing time to go ahead and get that done. So I was actually, no joke, gonna, I, I said, hey, I wanna get it done this year. I was almost going to wait until end of the year as like a big hoorah for myself. Um, in terms of paying off student debt and celebrating that like total freedom for myself. But uh, I, I think it's also nice to celebrate um, while you're in the middle of the, the journey, because even once you reach the end of, of one specific goal, right, it doesn't end there. Like the journey, like they said, is truly the destination. You continue to go once you hit, um, one, one area that you, you've really been striving to hit, it continues to go on and continues to move forward. And quite honestly, also there's growth that occurs in a lot of us. It's not necessarily seen, right? Socially, I think we think everything is always seen publicly, um, for the, for the world. And that's not. Like, I think the most important, the introspective growth that occurs, that's not seen by people. You notice it in yourself. You notice how you handle certain situations. You notice the boundaries you may choose to hold in place, things that you have to unlearn, right? There's a lot that goes into growth itself. And so this was uh, something meaningful for me to go ahead and represent growth. Thank you guys so much for tuning in just to share with you, okay? worries are eased the kobe was indeed picked up it's we're good okay the goods have been secured we are good so um now that you know i i am very calm and relaxed i'll be sure to work on that video whenever i get the chance and get that up for you not that there aren't looks already up but trust me i am very excited to unbox wear and enjoy this pair the same as anyone else who won them so thank you guys again so much for tuning into this video as always act your age not your shoe size peace